tutorial I want to look at two issues. One is sequence mismatch. In other words, what happens when you've got a sequence and the footage you're trying to drop into it isn't the right footage. And I just want to show you a little gotcha and explain how Premiere Pro deals with that. And the second issue is to deal with naming our projects so that we don't lose data and we can always go back to iterations of our projects so that we don't lose all the work that we've done and we can go back to any point in time because we've been sensible about the way we actually name our projects. So let's start with project mismatch or sequence mismatch by creating a new sequence. Now you can go to the new items icon down here and go sequence or you can go to file new sequence or you'll see that the keyboard shortcut is control N. Create one and I'm going to use one that is not the same settings as my actual project. So my footage is HDV but this is an NTSC sequence so it clearly doesn't match. Double click and there is my empty sequence. Now here's the gotcha. If I just use the comma key or the full stop key to do an insert or an overlay edit either from the project bin or from the source monitor the item will drop straight in. So if I do this and I do a, an insert edit here it's gone straight in but look when I pull my current time indicator back you can clearly see that it's massively too big for the actual sequence. So there is a mismatch so control Z to undo that. But if I click and drag and drop it in and let go you'll see that I come up with a mismatch warning saying this clip does not match the sequence settings. Change the sequence to match the clip settings now this is a choice for you to make. Sometimes you might have created a sequence and you're using footage from different cameras and you have chosen a particular sequence setting that's using the majority of the footage and then you're just going to adjust the footage from other cameras just to fit in. In which case you'd say keep existing settings which is the default setting. But occasionally you've made a mismatch so that's when you will click change sequence settings. But notice that this only happens when I drag footage in from either the bin, my project panel, or from the source panel. It doesn't happen if you immediately go into insert and overlay edit. So just be a little bit careful. If you've created a new sequence and you're a little bit unsure, just drag a piece of footage into the sequence and see if you get the mismatch warning. So if I click change sequence settings, there's the footage that fits. It looks like it fits. And if I go up to sequence, sequence settings, you can see here it's clearly HDV 1080i which is what I was using for this footage. So I can click OK. So that's how we can make sure that our sequences match and the warning dialog that we get but also a little bit of a warning that you won't always get that dialog. The second issue is having a good naming convention for your project. If you have a project that's not going to be just done in a couple of hours but might take a couple of days then you need to make sure that you name it in a sensible way so that the auto saves change with each new file name. Now if I haven't got a file name it will auto save with that file name and continue writing over the auto saves as it gets to the end so that if I look at my auto saves at the moment they are under my preferences auto save you'll see that I've got 20 minutes and 5 so I've got 100 minutes so after 100 minutes the auto saves will start saving over the old one and going on and going on. So I've only ever got 100 minutes of back work that's been going on. You can set these up by the way for as many as you like and for as long as you like. I'm just going to hit cancel. So with the project name the auto saves have got the same project name. If I then rename the project I will start creating brand new auto saves with the new project name and the old auto saves will be left untouched. So if you want to have good background to your project so that you can go back in time, if you save your project with one name in the morning, so say when we arrived at work, project name, Monday AM, I'm going to have five auto saves which have also got the same name but also with the addition of one, two, three, four, five, whatever they might be for the auto save. But when I then get to the end of the morning, I can save the project as whatever the project name is, Monday PM, then those old auto saves are left where they are and untouched and any new auto saves that are created have got the Monday PM end to them. So I'm going to end up with lots of different auto saves and if I've used a sensible naming convention I can see the Monday AM, Monday PM, Tuesday AM, Tuesday PM. I can go back to any point in time in the creation of my project if I need to undo things because of difficulties or problems or changes that there might be. 
So use a naming convention that allows you to save it on a regular basis with a new file name creating brand new autosaves so that you can work your way back through your project should you need to at any time in the future.